Yeah, um, it definitely can be possible. You know, two great teams. Um, you know, we put ourselves in the hole in the third quarter, but I think um, in the past years we're used to being down 15, 20, able to, to come back from it. But we just couldn't uh, get the win. Talk a little bit about the Olympics. Just want to get your thoughts on what was it like to be called upon to be on the team, and then as those seconds ticked down, you guys winning the gold medal. What was going through your mind? What were your initial thoughts? Um, it was a blessing to be a part of that, you know, to, to win a gold and um, just the camaraderie on that team and the leadership there and just things I was able to take back, but definitely just the camaraderie and, and just the atmosphere of it was great. Was there anybody that you didn't know beforehand but before joining the Olympic team that you kind of built up chemistry with? I would definitely say um, Simone Augustus and Candace Parker. You know, I had never played with either one of them, but, you know, they played great. You know, you saw the way Candace played tonight, so it was great to be around them. When you have that gold medal, what does that mean to you? And do you ever wear your gold medals out and about or maybe showing them off a little bit? No, I, I, I haven't seen my gold medal in the past weeks. But um, to, to win it, it just makes sense. You know, everything through college that you go through, AAU days and high school, it just all makes sense that, that day when you put the, the, the gold medal on your neck. What is it like to be a teammate of Candace Parker and have to play against her, especially like tonight and, and possibly seeing her down the road? Well, I'd definitely rather her as a teammate versus uh, playing against. But um, she's a great person off the court. You know, she's very verbal, just always trying to get her teammates better. And, and you can just tell she's a great individual and mother. So. What do you have to do as far as being one of the leaders of this team to kind of keep your team motivated and focused and get into the playoffs? We're, we're definitely motivated and focused. Um, as long as we just stay disciplined and, and just do the little key things that coach needs us to do, we'll be fine. Obviously, you were a teammate on U Team USA with Tina Charles, and now you're playing against her. What is something about Tina that you were able to learn during that, that time with the Olympic team? You know, um, Tina's a great player. You know, she's one of the best post players in, in the world, and I think that you know, I learned a lot going up against her in practice. And you know, I think you, you can take something from everybody's game, and I think that she's done a good job of continuing to get better every year and adding a little something to her game. We might play them in the finals. <laughs> no, it's just another matchup. It's not anything you know, crucial or anything like that. I think that. Connecticut's a great team. Tina Charles is a fantastic player.